And we anticipate that Russia will use additional North Korean missiles to target Ukraine's civilian infrastructure and to kill innocent Ukrainian civilians. These North Korean ballistic missiles are capable of ranges of approximately 900 kilometers. That's about 550 miles. This is a significant and concerning escalation in the DPRK's support for Russia. I would just say what we said before, which is ISIS-K does remain uh, a viable terrorist threat. Certainly they uh, are largely based out of Afghanistan. That's where they, that's where they headquarter themselves, um, and they continue to pose a, a, a viable terrorist threat uh, to the people of Afghanistan and obviously to the region. I guess a sign that that threat is increasing is that level of threat going I, I, up. I just yeah, Jeff. I don't think we can make that call right now based on this one attack. It's you know, it, it, it would be imprudent to say well, based on this one thing, that that means that they have exponentially improved their capabilities or their their resourcing to a certain degree. I just don't think we're at that point. We've long said and maintained uh, that they remain a viable terrorist threat. It's a pretty clear statement of how concerned we and our 12 other partners are, particularly, um, about what the Houthis are doing in the Red Sea. Uh, we don't telegraph our punches one way or another, but uh, we take these attacks very, very seriously. The impact that they're having uh, on international commerce and, uh, and free shipping, uh, and we're going to keep doing what we need to do to protect our interests. Is there anything you can tell us on what the menu is of, of the list of consequences that could be possible? I'm just not going to get ahead of where we are right now. Again, I think I think that was a pretty clear statement about our interests and uh, about how seriously we're taking this this threat. Um, and as the statement said, the, the Houthis uh, will be held accountable for the consequences. The president is tracking the tragic school shooting at Perry Middle and High School in in Iowa. Our hearts break for the families of the victims in yet another act of senseless gun violence. We are grateful for the brave first responders who are on the scene, and unfortunately, there is no longer an active threat to the school. I should say fortunate, not unfortunately. Senior White House staff have been in touch with the governor's office, and federal officials are working with local law enforcement to support their investigation. We will know more as they complete their work. It's only the fourth day in the year, in the new year, and we are already faced with yet another horrific school shooting. And the question that we ask is when will enough be enough? The questions that families ask and the victims of families ask is when will it be enough? When will enough be enough? Our students and teachers deserve to know that their schools are safe spaces and to focus on learning, not duck and cover drills.